Okay, so um, now for the bridge. Uh, the bridge is actually just uh, the same as what you play in the intro, pretty much. Just uh, in a different key, so it's a modulation. Um, I'll play it for you first, and uh, then we'll break it down to you in pieces like we did in the beginning with, uh, with the intro and such. Okay, so how do you play that? Um, we start off with uh, a couple of chords. Let's um, do the chords first. So that's uh, C sharp minor, G sharp minor with B in the bass, F sharp minor with A in the bass, then G sharp seven sus four to G sharp seven. That's the fir first four bars. So, uh, the picking pattern is more or less the same as what you play in, uh, in the beginning. So you play, thumb plays the E string, uh, but we start off with uh, middle finger on the uh, G string, then thumb E string, then index finger D string, and then middle finger G string again, so like this. you play the thumb plays of the next chord, so that's uh, the G sharp minor with B in the bass, you play the thumb plays uh, the E string, then index finger plays the D string again, and middle finger plays the G string, so like this. You play the same picking pattern on uh, F sharp minor with uh, A in the bass, so again, thumb, then middle finger, then thumb, index finger, middle finger. The strings stay the same, so like this. Then you play thumb and middle finger, E string and G string on that G sharp 7 sus4, then index finger, then you put your middle finger on 5th uh, position of the G string, let your little finger just just take it away, and then you play with your middle finger at that uh, G string. So those first four bars should sound like this. Three, four, and. I think I forgot to mention that just before you play that G sharp 7 sus 4, you play that bass note again of that uh, F sharp minor with A in the bass, so like this. Yeah. Okay, then uh, we go to the next four bars, and it's completely the same except for the first chord which is uh, not a C sharp minor now, but uh, an A with C sharp in the bass, so A major. Um, so that's this chord. And the picking pattern is the same as in the, in the first four bars, so the next four bars should sound like this. Three, four, and. Okay, then um, we move on, uh, and in the next four bars we play the following chords, an A6, an E chord, G sharp, major, and how you play those, um, the A6 we play as follows, uh, you play uh, the thumb plays uh, the E string, 
then index finger uh, D string, middle finger G string, then you play index finger again, the uh, D string, then ring finger plays the B string, middle finger G string, and then index finger plays the D string. And the rhythm is as follows. Three, four, and we play that bass again, and we drag it down. Another thing that is important is that just before you play that uh, A6 chord, you play that um, that fourth position of the E string of the previous chord, and then you play the A6 chord like this. And then you go to the E. So again, three, four. And then you get, and then you get the uh, E string. Index finger plays the A string and ring finger plays the G string. And then you already go to the G sharp major. Uh, thumb plays the, uh, the E string. Index finger plays the A string. And the ring finger plays the G string. So, those four bars should sound like this. Three, four, Then we go into a sort of a strumming mode and uh, we play the A chord and you play it just three times. Then you play G sharp sus4. Then you play C sharp minor. And then to C sharp minor 7. And the strumming is just with your thumb, you just move down, and on the C sharp minor, just before every downstroke, you play a up, an upstroke with your thumb. So, like this. So, like one, two, three, and four. So, those four bars should sound like this three, four, and. you get again that A chord and then you play that G sharp sus4 chord four, bar, uh, four uh, beats and you end on the A sus2 so those last A bars should sound like this three four Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that. Check the website that's yourguitarworkshop.com. Uh, I'll posting a few. I'll be posting a few more uh, sting tutorials later on, so uh, that should be interesting. And uh, be well. Keep playing, and uh, hope to see you again sometime.